Project 60 is Space War Flicker Motor. Now, this project is interesting to me because when I turn on the slide switch, you can hear the Space War sounds despite the fact that there is no speaker. Why is that? That's because the motor uses magnets and a coil of water, similar to an actual speaker. Magnets and coils of water are used in actual speakers to produce the sound. And the, those sounds are used to power the motor. The alarm integrated circuit is changing the sounds, causing them to switch. So you hear all of them. Project 61 is light controlled sounds. When I turn on the slide switch, you'll hear a faint police car siren. You can increase the volume of the sound by shining more light on it. When I cover the photoresistor with my finger, the sound stops because the electrical resistance is now too high for the circuit to continue sounding. And now variants of this circuit include a machine gun sound in which you place a three snap wire between points X and Y, as you could say, a fire engine siren, an ambulance siren, which can also be a European siren, and then lastly, removing this connection, I'm going to place this three snap wire directly on top of the bottom one. And then after putting this one snap wire over there, I'm going to place the music integrated circuit directly over the alarm integrated circuit. And with enough light on the photoresistor, you can hear music playing in addition to the siren. I think the music will only play once. You have to turn the switch off and on again for the music to play again. Project 66 is a very entertaining circuit. It's called an electronic bomb bombing game. With this circuit, you would have two players and, well, the second player looks away, the first player would put a two snap wire on any of these three points here, either point B, point C, or point D. Let's say the player puts the two snap wire on point D. Then before the second player looks, the first player would cover these three points with a piece of paper. I'm just going to use a magazine. And then player two would take his or her two snap wire and guess which three snap wire the first player put his or her two snap wire on. Here are points X, Y, and Z. And if player two puts their two snap wire on the right spot, space war sounds will be heard and that player will get a hit. Player two will get a hit. And then it can be reversed in which now player two puts their wire on either point B C or D, and then player one guesses, and they'll get a hit if they guess correctly the first time. Then they'll keep guessing until they hit. Then the two players can do multiple rounds and see who gets the best overall score. 
and the winner will be the one who is best at reading the opponent's mind, meaning like they get, I guess, get more hits the first time they guess. This is a very interesting game that you may enjoy. Project 67 is the Quiet Zone game. The purpose of this game is basically opposite that of the previous game in the previous project in which now a player has to find the, what is called the quiet zone by connecting a two snap wire across the three snap wire that does not have two snap wires connected on the other end. These would be hidden once again by a piece of paper and then player two would have three tries per turn to guess where the quiet zone is, whether it is on zone X, zone Y, or zone Z. And each time they get it wrong, that player loses a point. And then the players will swap roles. Player two will then adjust the two snap wires on the left side so that player one can guess the quiet zone. Play will continue until each player reaches zero points. They start with 10 points each. Whoever reaches zero points first loses. Project 68 is Space War Music Combo. I have, this circuit uses both the music and Space War integrated circuits. When I turn on the slide switch, you will hear distorted music playing and the L1 lamp lights up. And then by pushing the press switch and waving your hand over the photoresistor, you can hear sounds from the Space War integrated circuit. There's you have to turn the switch, slide switch off and on to hear the music playing again. Alternatively, you can replace the speaker with the whistle chip if it's too loud, but I don't think it is to me. Project 69 is Space War Siren. When I turn on the slide switch, the alarm will sound as a machine gun and the L1 lamp will glow dimly. Now when I hold down the press switch, the lamp will get a little bit brighter. Actually, it doesn't seem to be doing that for me, but that's what they say happens when you hold down the press switch. Project 70 is quiet water alarm. After I turn on the switch, I'm going to put the jumper, the ends of the jumper wires inside this cup of water. And you will hear a quiet buzzing sound and the red LED flickers. It's not supposed to be loud, but in a real application, a light like this could be useful if it was brighter because if the room was noisy, you might not be able to hear the alarm. Project 71 is light controlled lamp. When I shine a light on the photoresistor, the L1 lamp comes on. Then when I cover the photoresistor, the L1 lamp goes out. That's because when I cover the photoresistor, the re electrical resistance increases, preventing current from flowing through the lamp. When I remove my hand from the photoresistor and light reaches it, the electrical resistance decreases, and now the lamp lights. This is kind of like the opposite principle of an automatic street lamp, which would come on at night and go off during the day. It would be odd, though, have a street lamp that comes on during the day and turns off at night. It would be useless. Now, because it's attached to the music integrated circuit, the lamp will go off after a short while. And then you can reset it by shining a light back on the photoresistor. For voice-controlled lamp, 
I removed the photo resistor and inserted the whistle chip between points A and B here. And then when I tap the whistle chip, the music integrated circuit starts playing. You can hear the faint music and the lamp comes on. The whistle chip has a piezo crystal between the two metal plates. And when loud sound or tapping the whistle chip causes the plates to vibrate, a small voltage is produced to activate the music integrated circuit and the lamp. You could also clap or talk loudly by the whistle chip. Project 73 is motor controlled lamp. When I, I replace the whistle chip with the motor and when I turn it, the lamp comes on. In this project, the turning the motor generates mechanical energy, which is then converted into electrical energy. There's a magnet and a coil inside the motor, but, and when the motor shaft is turned, the magnetic field will change and generate a small current in the coil and a voltage across the terminals, which will then activate the music integrated circuit and turn on the lamp. And then it will play through the music before the lamp turns off. Project 74 is light controlled LED. When there is enough light on the photoresistor, the LED comes on. This is the same, this circuit uses the same principle with the lamp as with the lamp in Project 71. And then when I cover the photoresistor, the LED turns off because of increased electrical resistance. and the music integrated circuit will play through the happy birthday song. And then when the music stops, the LED will turn off. Project 75 is sound control time delay LED. After I connect the whistle chip between these two points, I will tap the whistle chip and the red LED comes on. This circuit uses the same principle as in Project 72, except now I'm using the LED. Lastly, for Project 76, motor control time delay LED, when I turn the motor, the LED comes on. Same principle as in Project 73, but with the LED instead of the lamp. Project 77 is Space War Flicker LED. When I turn on the slide switch, the red LED will blink and flash, depending on the sound from the alarm integrated circuit and the Space War integrated circuit. I believe that the alarm integrated circuit is generating the machine gun sound. And then I believe the Space War sound changes when you turn the slide switch off and on again. You can do it repeatedly. Project 78 is music and gate. I have the slide switch and press switch connected together in series and I will have to switch on the slide switch and hold down the press switch for the music to play. This is another example of an AND gate circuit which would be common in computer logic and an example would be if condition X and condition Y are true then execute instruction Z. If I turn off the slide switch, for example, and hold down the press switch, the music won't sound because both switches need to be on 
to hear the music. Project 79 is flash and tone. When I turn on the slide switch, the LED and the red LED and L1 lamp both flash and you can hear two different tones from the whistle chip. The tones are what are controlling the lamp and LED. ICs or integrated circuits can be connected to control many different devices at once. 